Calamari, thinly sliced onion, mozzarella melted. Mmm, yummy. To me, Mary is a treasure in Boston. The first time we met was in China. We became fast friends during that trip. She's strong, smart, she loves to laugh. Uh, she's somebody that all Bostonians should be very proud of. My career has been chock full of the most amazing adventures. So many adventures that sometimes uh, one of our producers will remind me of something I've done and I'm like, I forgot all about that, that we did that. We just hundreds and hundreds of amazing adventures and amazing people to go with them. Peter had his Chevy and Mary's mode of transportation. Hi ho, silver! Well, anything that moves. Biplane, Zodiac, race car, riverboat, barge, tundra buggy, and the ultimate, a hang glider. From above the earth to under the sea, Mary went wherever there was a story to tell. She learned to scuba dive so she could swim with the dolphins in the Bahamas. It's a fact. Over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Beneath it, another world. A world that seems to cast a spell over us, that seems to call us home. I found it incredibly freeing. If you're not a great swimmer, and I'm not, to not have to worry about your breathing and to be able to just swim with the fishes. <laughs> so Chronicle opened doors for me. I never would have learned to scuba dive if it hadn't been part of a story that I wanted to do. And finally, here it is, my dolphin kiss from Stripe. Then we heard this remarkable story of a young beluga whale who'd adopted a town in Nova Scotia. They had named her Wilma. The man who brought us to meet Wilma was very protective of her. And then he said, Wilma loves it if you sing to her. Well, I was so in awe of this huge creature swimming alongside of me. I could not literally think of a single song. And finally, I started singing underwater to Bubbles. The first time ever I saw your face. Ever I saw your face. Thought the sun. It turns out I had just finished the 4th of July concert hosting that for Channel 5 and A&E and Roberta Flack was the guest that year. That's why that song was buzzing around in my head when I met Wilma the Whale. And the stars. Mary has been the face for the Boston Pops for so many people around the country. I remember meeting Mary right before my first 4th of July, and she was, of course, the anchor of those festivities, and realizing that she was just an integral part of this incredible birthday party that we threw for the entire country. What an amazing experience with hundreds of thousands of people coming to hear the concert. And you have a front row seat. We were able to travel with the Preble, a brand new ship that was being commissioned in Boston, down from, from Newport in Rhode Island up to Boston. Come right, City Course 205. Chronicle is aboard the USS Preble, one of the most powerful warships ever to put to sea. Two things are under constant testing aboard the Preble, the technology of modern warfare and the brain power of those young men and women who are at the trigger. Very quickly, you understand the mood aboard the Preble. It is confidence. It is competence. It is the attention given to the task at hand that forges an effective Navy team of 28 officers and some 300 crew members. If we ever go into a battle situation, I'll be sitting right where you are. Really? So don't push any buttons. <laughs> My father was a career naval officer. He was a graduate of Annapolis who came out of the coal mines of Pennsylvania. And so for me to be on a ship and imagine what life was like for him during World War II, and to be days and weeks and months at sea, all of those experiences came back to me being on a naval ship. And there was a certain sense of pride, I have to say. 
So just by surviving, Fenway became unique. Mary has been, is a uh, Hall of Fame journalist. I really admire the fact that she adopted Boston and New England and stayed here her, her entire career. She was like a free agent who could have gone anywhere to advance her career. Instead, she sank her roots very deeply into Boston and New England, and we were all better off for it.